Okay. So first you have to come to the Google and type Microsoft Azure account create. So once you click on that, the first link that will come up on your screen that is the azure.microsoft.com. You have to click on that link. Once you click on that link, you will see the two options. First is start free and second would be pay as you go. So we are creating this account for the learning purpose. So we will go with start free. So click on it. Once you click on it, a new pop-up will come up. So you will see the screen similar to this. If you have an account, you can directly sign in into the Microsoft account. Otherwise, you have to click on the create one. So we don't have at the moment. So we will click on the create one. So you have to click on the create one. It will redirect to the next page where you have to provide some extra details. So I quickly provide all these details that is similar to making any account, similar to the any of the other account. So I'm just quickly filling all the details. First, you have to provide some Gmail ID in which you ever want to create a Microsoft account. Then you have to create the password and everything. So I just take a pause or you can just go with me. You have to verify your email account. So there will be one code will be sent to your Gmail account that the Gmail ID you provided here. So you will get a code from the Microsoft team. So you just need to go to the, your Gmail account. Basically here you can see I received the code. You just have to copy it and paste it here. Paste it and click on the next. Once you click on the next, your account actually, your Gmail account actually verified. Here the extra security purpose, you have to rotate the dog according to the finger. Okay, next submit. Okay, verification complete. That means your email ID has been verified. Now quickly you have to provide some other details. So I quickly fill all the other details that is the first name, last name, phone number, email ID and everything. So I just quickly verify the phone number. So once you click on the phone number, you will see the two options, call me or text me. I just click on the text me and get a text message at a verification code or OTP. I just quickly verify and provide some additional, uh, you see, details. So here you can provide organization. If you want to do that, you will provide pin ID optional. You have to provide the address line. So you have to provide some address, the pin code and everything. And just check these two box and click on next. Okay. Now your profile identity verification by card. That means here you have to provide your any of the debit card or credit card, whatever you have, but it should be from the Visa or the MasterCard. So you have to provide some details. You have just fill it out some other details. I just quickly go through that. That is not very difficult. Once you verify, you have to receive a OTP on your register mobile number for the verification purpose. Two rupees will be deducted initially and maybe possibly after some time that two rupees will come back to your account. So this is just for the verification purpose. If you made the payment successful, it will be confirmed. Now it is confirming your information. Uh, if you want to send the feedback, that is okay. okay. Definitely fine. This is not required. But yeah, it takes some time to setting up the account. Once it done, you will be redirect to the Azure page. Okay. Okay. Now verification almost has been done. Now, yeah, you can see that you are ready to start with Azure. That means your Azure account has been started. You have to click on the go to the Azure portal. Once you click on it, you will see a screen similar to that. Here you can see quick start center, some feedback, some other details and everything. So here you can see create the instance, quick start center, virtual machines, app services, storage accounts and other details. If you scroll down, you will see the other details. So we will talk about it once we start learning the Microsoft Azure. And here is the search engine. Here you can search anything you want. So we have to click on the subscriptions. If you want to check what our subscription you have. Here we can see this is a free trial and it is active. That means your Azure account has been created successfully. The free account that we basically talk about. And there is a certain number of, I uh, say, resources or the amount. Here you can see your free credit expires in 29 days. After that, you have to pay for it, whatever service you use. So I hope by navigating these services or by following these steps, your Azure account will be created. So I hope this is very easy task. This is not a very difficult to go. Oh, these are the other options you can navigate. Once you explore more, you will learn about more. So I hope. By following these steps, you are able to create your first free Azure account. If it is, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Thank you. Thanks for watching.